Hey, hey, what's going up everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, I want to take some time and talk a little bit about the channel, talk about some new things that's going to be coming to the channel, talk about some videos that I want to uh, redo and repost up here on the channel. So let me go ahead and start with this video. First off, I do want to apologize for my lack of video uploads. I know I haven't been uploading a lot here lately, uh, and I'm very sorry about that. Just Sometimes it's hard for me to do these videos uh, because either I am busy with work or busy with something else or it's just because of the weather factor. Uh, right now we are having crazy weather. It would be hot during the day and then all of a sudden it goes to a full on rainstorm and stuff like that. It's, the Carolina weather is just crazy here my friends. We, we have some really crazy weather and you know it would be hot and then it will go to you know, steaming off or go to cool or, you know, this is <laughs> crazy stuff. But anyway, uh, so I am sorry for that. I'm trying to uh, do some more videos. One of the things that was kind of delaying me was learning the new editing software that I got for my new computer. As I uh, said in my previous videos that I had to get a new computer after my 20 year old computer, finally said, you know, that's enough. I can't keep up with all the newest technology and stuff like that. So I had to go ahead and buy another computer. And with that, I had to buy new editing software. So I got the Movie Studio Vegas 17. And so I've been learning that program. And I, I'm kind of right now in a comfortable state where I can think I can make some videos with it. I did one video with it uh, just previously about uh, you know everything that's been going on. And uh, I did notice that I did mess up on the first part of the video. Uh, you know, my little thumbnail picture that I post up on all of my videos before it starts, uh, that was supposed to be animated. I did not upload that, that clip into the software. And I noticed that I just had the picture sitting there for like 10 or 15 minutes or not 15 minutes, but 10 or 15 seconds actually. Uh, I was so used to my old program where I just put the picture there and it'll be like a five second clip and then it go to the next thing. Uh, but, but with this program, I kind of have to go in there and, and say, hey, started at five, you know, ended at five seconds. So I do have to make sure I do that from now on because uh, y'all don't want to see just a picture of, of me or an RC or whatever just sitting there on the screen. But uh, anyway, um, so I want to talk about some new things that's coming to the channel. Uh, one of the biggest things that I'm going to be adding to my channel, which I've done it in the past before. This is uh, something I did way back in the day when I was basically getting into the hobby. I wanted to start trying out different RCs because at the time I was doing strictly rock crawlers. And I decided that I wanted to get a little bit more into the hobby and try out a few other things. And one of the things I tried out was the RC construction stuff. And uh, at the time, I had some basic toy grade RCs that I, I got off of eBay and stuff like that. And uh, I was like, oh, I'll just give this a try first and, and, and uh, before I actually, you know, get any big ticket items and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, I'll try this first. And uh, I, I liked it, but... The vehicles I had just did not really do what they say they were going to do. They didn't really dig. They didn't really push. They really couldn't carry heavy loads and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to get out of it. But here lately, the last few weeks now, I have been very intrigued or uh, very fascinated with the RC construction stuff. I think it's super cool how people are taking their RC construction vehicles and building things like roads and pathways, uh, houses, doing a full on scaled out construction site and stuff. I really do like it. And I wish it was very big here in the US, but it's not really big in the US. It's, it's mostly big over there in, uh, over in the UK and Germany and, and stuff like that. It's, it's really big over that area, uh, but not too much here in the US. Not that I know of. Uh, I really hadn't really looked at any form sites or Facebook sites or stuff like that. But anyway, but I have been gr having a big passion for it here lately. And so I was like, you know what? I like to get into it, try it out. Uh, and, and I was like, you know, I also thought about this. I was like, you know, I got my, my own little scale RC park in my backyard there, WAC Walkabout Creek RC Park. And I got all these little buildings and, and houses and uh, seeing it, stuff like that. And I was like, It'd be cool to have some RC construction vehicles where it would do the maintenance 
on the park and go back there and dig up some holes, uh, pick up some limbs and stuff like that. You know, kind of like maintenance the park and have a fun way of doing it. So uh, I thought about doing it. So I've been uh, studying it on it and looking at all these vehicles and I have learned a lot that most of the RC construction stuff is 1 14th scale. And the 1 14th scale stuff is very, very expensive. Uh, a lot of the vehicles I looked at, the hydraulic ones, were going anywhere from 3000 up to $10,000. And I was like, whoo, I don't know if I can afford hydraulic RCs that are three, four, five, six thousand dollars That's just way out of my price range. But I did find a few vehicles that are motor powered, motor driven or servo driven, have uh, servo actuators on them and stuff that actually will actually dig and move dirt and stuff like that. So I've been looking at these vehicles and uh, so I ended up getting a few of them, which I'll definitely be showing y'all here on the channel. Uh, so there won't be any hydraulic RCs here, all right? That's just, again, way out of my budget. I cannot afford that. Uh, I cannot afford another vehicles like Medic from RC Adventure has with his Gold Series there. Uh, he has a lot of money tied up in those vehicles and uh, that's just, <laughs> it's insane. But uh, it's the price we pay for the hobby. But uh, so, like I said, no hydraulics. Mine are going to be mostly uh, having powerful motors, motor driven or servo actuator driven. Uh, so, yeah, so I just want to let y'all know that. So, no hydraulic stuff. Uh, but I think it's definitely going to be fun. I am definitely think I'm going to have fun with this. Now, I do know that some of y'all, oh, <laughs> I went and hit the camera there, but I'm not going to start over. All right. I am not doing this again. I probably have done this video many, many times, but anyway, I, I, I really wanted to get into the RC construction stuff. And like I said, I know some of y'all probably will not like this stuff. It might not interest in you. It's not in interesting to you. If I said that right, I have a bit of a speech impediment. Some words I can say and some words I just can't say whatsoever. But uh, yeah, I know some of y'all are not gonna like what I you know do here on the channel, and that's okay. I'm fine with that. Uh, you know, my channel is not just covering one type of RC. I cover all types of RCs. I like every type of RC from land, air to sea. I like them all, and uh, you know, go fast crawlers, drifters, you know, whatever. I, I like it all, and I want to kind of put that here on the channel so that way. You know, I have a mixture of things to see and view here on the channel. So, uh, but yeah. Now, I do want to say that I'm not going to be doing a construction series on a golding, gold mine or gold panning and stuff like that. I live on the coast of North Carolina, my friends. I am literally 20 minutes from the beach. There is no gold here, all right? The only gold we do have is the North Carolina lottery there with people paying you know playing scratch off tickets and stuff that is the only gold lottery we have here the only gold that we have here in north carolina well here where i live at <laughs> but no gold where i live at my friend so i'm not going to be doing a gold series but i do want to do a series like maybe a rc construction maintenance series on my park you know I might have, you know, might, you know, do that instead. I think that would be really cool to, to have a little series where the vehicles go out, do certain uh, tasks throughout the park and stuff like that. So I might be doing a series about that. Uh, I, I don't know what I would call it, maybe WAC uh, maintenance or something like that. Uh, I really hadn't got that far yet. I've been thinking about it, but it just hadn't really... Uh, wrote anything down and made it permanent or what. But uh, I and I also thought about you know, if I was going to do the construction stuff, maybe I wanted to do it on another channel, maybe create a, a, a channel completely for that. But uh, I kind of want everything to be on one channel uh, instead of have to swap over to another channel and stuff like that. So um, I probably am just going to be doing it here on the channel. So if y'all are not a fan of the construction stuff, I understand that's okay. Uh, it's no biggie. I understand it doesn't, it's not your liking, it's not your taste. 
and I completely understand. I know a lot of my subscribers are rock crawler people, and uh, you know I'm sorry that I'm getting into uh, into the destruction field. Now, how long will I be into it? That's the question. I could be in it for a few weeks, a few months, or I could be in it for the long term. I don't know. I mean, uh, right now I just want to kind of do something a little different. You know. Uh, it's, it's good to switch up every now and then and do something that you don't usually do uh, at all or, or, or very much. You know, I always do the crawlers, as you see here, uh, crawlers all around me here. Uh, that's what I like to do. I like doing the trail crawling and rock crawling. More in the trail crawling aspect than the actual rock crawling, but I like it both. It's both a lot of fun. But I, I definitely want to do something different and uh, just have fun with it. Because that's what we're all about. This is what this hobby is all about, is having fun, right? It, it, it is. It's, it's all about having fun and enjoying yourself and just doing what pleases you, all right? Uh, so, yeah. So, I'm bringing the construction series here to the channel. Another thing that I do want to bring back to the channel is a few videos that I've done in the past that need to be updated. I actually was going through the channel just the other night and looking at some of my videos from the past and it's like, huh, there's some videos that I did not touch up on, stuff that I did and I probably only did one video and I didn't do any more of it. Um, so I was like, well, I need to, I need to, uh, you know, kind of redo some of those videos, maybe talk about one of those vehicles that I did an upgrade on that I wouldn't highly recommend or, you know, just give y'all, you know, an update on the vehicle, where it's at, you know, you know, what happened. So, uh, I definitely want to do that. Another series that I want to add to the channel is a video that I did a little over two or three years ago called, uh, how to film, uh, well, actually it was called filming your RC 101. And that was a very popular video. I got a lot of great feedback from people on that video, said it really helped them out on filming an RC video for their RCs. Uh, you know, in that video, I went through the whole process of filming your RC, what you're gonna need, you know, your vehicle, your camera, your equipment, the, how to put the video together. I went through a lot of process, you know, or a lot of stuff in that video and it's like a 30 minute video talking about all that. But uh, I definitely want to redo that video and get more in more in depth with it and, and talk about some different things, how to uh, get some really cool cinematic shots, how to do some visual shots to make your camera uh, by you know, put, you know, putting your camera in different angles and tilting it different ways to get cinematic shots and uh, just how to get really cool visual shots without fancy editing software and stuff like that. So I do want to get more in depth in that video. So I'll be doing that as well. I uh, definitely want to work on that. That's going to be something that's going to take a little time to put together uh, between the, the filming of it and, and all that stuff. So, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to be doing one full video of it or break it up in pieces. I'm not exactly sure yet. I hadn't got there. But I do have a lot on the plate right now of what I want to do. You know, so I had the construction series that I want to bring to the channel. Uh, a couple of videos that needs to be touched up from the past. Uh, those need to be, you know, done. And then, you know, filming your RC 101. That's a few things that needs to be done. Uh, so I, just, I got a lot on my, my, my plate there. And that two and a half months that I took away from the channel uh, put all that on halt right there. So uh, I definitely got my work cut out for the rest of this year, I think. And uh, so, yeah. But uh, I think it's all going to be fun, my friends. I hope that y'all stick around and watch the videos. I, you know, I really would appreciate it. Uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs like button if you like this video. And uh, comment down below if you want to see something on the channel, something that you want me to do. Maybe it's something totally different. Um, let me know. I, I really like to get some feedback from you guys. I'll, you know, everything that I, I talked about, uh, I would love to have, you know, to see that so I can, you know, kind of learn from it. And that's one of the things I always do when I get comments from people, if it's a uh, negative or positive, you know, I take it and I, I learn from it. It's like, all right, 
well, this person wants me to do this right here. I'll, I'll try to incorporate it into the channel if I can. So, uh, it's all about, you know, if I can afford it, if I have the time to do it. Uh, so just let me know my friends. So again, comment down below. Let me know uh, what you would like to see on the channel. All right. Well, my friends, I want to thank y'all for watching and sticking around with me and putting up with me. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Uh, so uh, make sure that you click that little like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload videos and stuff. So with that, my, with that being said, my friends, thank you for watching, and I will see y'all later.